In this video, we have a very special guest. We have Joel Kaplan, who sold his agency. He was making around $300,000 a month with his agency. He was serving chiropractors. Now, after selling his agency, he's now coaching agency owners around the world. He's helped dozens of agencies scale above $100,000 a month in revenue and literally hundreds of other agency owners scale to $10,000 a month. He's also been endorsed by people like Alex Hermosi, who is the author of of this book that I literally have on my shelf. And in this video, he's gonna come on with Isaac, who is his media buying specialist. And Isaac, by the way, also scaled his agency to six figures. So we really have some hard hitters in the video. Both of them are in 300 agencies. So by the way, if you wanna join, we still have a few spots left. And in this video, they are gonna show how they used to run ads for chiropractors on TikTok and how they used to get them crazy results. So if your agency is in the chiropractic niche, this video is literally like godsend to you, but or else I'll be honest, this is probably the best video I've ever uploaded on my channel. So once again, you guys are in for a treat. You guys know I always upload the technical raw videos on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss my next video. So we're here with Joel and Isaac. Joel scaled his agency for chiropractors to over $300,000 a month. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. And today he actually sold his agency. Uh, and today he's going to show us a little bit about how service delivery works for chiropractors. So yeah, take it away. Awesome. And we also have Isaac who actually also had a chiro agency and he scaled it to over $100,000 a month. So not quite 300, but still a seven figure agency. And uh, he's actually one of my business partners now. And he's like the genius behind the screen. You know, he like is a mastermind of the ads, of high level, all that good stuff. So it's good to have you, Isaac. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Glad to be on. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. So Thomas, the, the idea for today, pretty simple. First, I'm going to go over some mindset for the niche that I think it's really important for everyone to hear. Then we're going to actually show people how to build a TikTok ad for chiropractors and literally show them everything step by step. And then at the end, we'll walk through the go high level sequences to nurture the leads and get them scheduled. And then after that, uh, we're going to be giving away a lot of resources. So my intro call scripts, my demo presentation that helped me close over 300 clients, all chiros. I'm going to be giving away a free database reactivation campaign that you can plug and play into high level, a free Google review campaign that you could plug plug and play right into high level and so much more. So the idea is we're literally going to give you everything that you need to run a Cairo agency. And uh, that's crazy. Yeah, anything. Yeah, we're going to we're going to really hook you guys up. You know, when Thomas said, hey, come on and, and share everything like we're really going to do that and and Thomas really cares about adding value and, and really hooking you guys up, especially on the service delivery side. So our hope is to give you everything. So at the end of this, you can literally go out and get clients results. So does that sound good, Thomas? Yeah, that's awesome. I'm super excited. So before we actually show the ad, quick warning, quick warning, every niche sucks. Okay. There are no golden niches. Even if you have every single ad, every single script, every single go high level sequence it's about it's a matter of you getting better at the niche over time it's about you committing to the niche and learning the ins and outs learning how to really take care of your clients go above and beyond get them amazing results it's not like you could just plug and play an ad and boom you've got the golden niche or niche however you want to call it i get i get shit on on my tiktoks for calling it niche is it niche i don't know I don't know. I say both sometimes, <laughs> but there is, I just want to like, let you guys know, even if you take these ads, you're still going to have to learn how to work with clients, set good expectations. And at the end of the day, this is one of the most important lessons in SMMA. Clients are not paying you for marketing. Clients are not paying you for go high level sequences, for ads, they are paying you for one thing and one thing only, for you to make them more money. That's ultimately what they're paying you for. And you have to solve more problems than just ads, just high level sequences. 
And you only really understand how to solve those intimate problems by committing to the ni- to the niche long enough for you to really see the results. And the second warning I'm going to give you guys, I know it's kind of like dark, but I really want to set you guys up for success because if you know this, you have the right mindset going in, it's going to be a lot easier for you to go in and crush it. And these are things I wish I knew before going out and uh, getting clients results. The other big thing with uh, with chiropractors and something to, to, to keep in mind, setting good expectations with clients is going to be the 80-20 of getting them good results. Because if you can start the relationship on a good note, if you can start your business dynamic, how you interact on a solid foundation, it's going to set you up for having amazing results. For example, Isaac, did you ever have a client that you got like an insane ROI and they still left? Yeah, several. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, results are the foundation of things. Like you can get results and have clients leave because you got them nothing else. You didn't communicate with them. You just turned ads on and got them results. Um, so results are the foundation of like maintaining clients, but there, there has to be more than that. There has to be more like there's, I say there's two pieces behind retention results and relationship results and relationship. So we're going to show you guys how to get results today, but I'm also going to give you guys my launch call presentation so that you can learn how to set proper expectations and establish a solid relationship. Cause you can have clients that get crazy results and leave, and you can also have clients that get not the best results, but if you have a really strong relationship, they'll stay. And then the last warning, this is my last little mindset tip of the day for you guys. With business and entrepreneurship, you cannot be a copy and paste entrepreneur. So many entrepreneurs out there will watch a YouTube video by Thomas and like literally take his script word for word. And that's awesome. But you know what's going to get you even crazier results. If you take his script and ask yourself, how can I beat Thomas's script? How can I make it even better? If you ask yourself, how can I take it and make it a little bit different and unique? If you can figure out how to innovate on proven frameworks, that's ultimately how you win in the long run. So my invitation for you guys And my recommendation is you take everything that you learned today and you ask yourself, not how do I literally copy and paste it, but how do you take it and beat us? That's how you go out and get more clients than us. How do you take it and make it better? So Isaac, I guess that's, that's, uh, that's your turn now. So I don't know if you want to start showing the TikTok. Yeah. I'll pull it up and yeah, to to build on that guys, like, the whole innovation thing, the, these TikTok ads and the things being run on TikTok. Is it, we when we first started running ads on TikTok, we just took stuff that worked on Facebook, modified it, tested it a little bit, put it on the TikTok platform, figured out what worked, and we're you know in a lot of niches we've gotten way cheaper leads than everybody else. It, it was just a small innovation. So like, take what we provide you and make small innovations on it. Like a, a year from now, I want to look in the TikTok ads library and see some new new ads from you guys. Cause that's, that's how things progress. Um, so let me, yeah, I'm going to do a full, um, Thomas, you're going to be just guys. hanging out. Well, we're yeah, going to be just hanging out watching Isaac. <laughs> you guys are just going to like be in silence while I'm just building out some TikTok ads. Um, cool. So I want to go over real quick, the, the basics of what type of ads work on TikTok. So there's a few components to it and let me unmute this. There's a few components to it. So what you want to run is adjustment videos, whether you're doing chiropractors doing adjustments or if they're doing decompression machines, you want to show the actual treatment, ideally. Um, There's some other ways to do it, but this is the easiest, most consistent way to get results. Now, there's two other main components here. Number one, there's a talking voice. This is where a lot of people mess up with TikTok when they come over from Facebook. They think they can just throw an ad up that just has music on it. It's just a little jingle playing in the background. It has somebody getting adjusted and they think that's going to work. 
the, when you add a voice, it works so much better because you need to think the TikTok user base is used to sound. They're used to voice. Um, so when they're when they're scrolling, if you if you have a video pop up that has no voice, it's just somebody getting adjusted. And it's just some random jingle in the background. You're going to skip it. You're going to skip it right away. But if you put some voice on it, it actually feels native to the platform. Um, you can use those robo voices. You don't have to self record every single uh, ad for your clients. Um, and you'll notice up here at the top, there is a uh, a call a call out at the very top of the ad. Now, the the reason you do this is putting the offer at the very top will stop some people. Like, imagine if you have back pain and you're just scrolling, and then you see somebody getting adjusted, and you see an offer right at the top. You're like, oh, oh, twenty nine dollar adjustment, cool. So. It's good and to by put the that... by the way, yeah. Just like Thomas tells you guys that the offer is king to get agency clients. Guess what? The offer is also king to get your clients' clients. Yeah. So if a chiropractor tells you, "I don't want to do a twenty nine dollar adjustment," they're gonna get bad results. Yeah. They have to. We actually recommend that the best offer in all of Cairo is doing either a nineteen dollar or a twenty one dollar adjustment. Some chiros like the 29, some chiros will ask you to go up to 49. But if you're pushing past 49 bucks per adjustment, you're going to see a drop in in uh, total leads. So just to kind of build on what Isaac is saying, you want to call out the city and the surrounding area, and then you want to drop the offer. And ideally, you're doing either a $19 or a $21 adjustment exam and consultation. Yeah. And, and I believe Joel, you did this as well. Um, after a certain point, we would only onboard clients that were willing to run good offers. Like it, it yes. Yeah. Remember what I said about expectations, building solid relationships. If the client was like, no, I don't want to do the 29, the $21 adjustment. We'd be like, you have two options. We can onboard you and you're going to get bad results or you can do our offer and we'll onboard you and you're going to get good results. So yeah. Yeah. Cause right, if you, we... if you let clients constantly strong arm you into like running like $70 exams and things like that, which um, they will try to do by the way. Yeah. It's not good for them. It's not good for you. It's not good for your relationship with them and it's not good for their pockets. So it's like Thomas, to... it's like literally Thomas reaching out to a med spa and being like, Hey, I'm going to charge you $10,000 <laughs> and I might get you a patient. <laughs> Yeah, I might get you a, a new client. Like, no one. Yeah, it has to be a no brainer on every level. It has to be a no brainer for you know your like your offer as an agency, but offer, but also like the offer that you're you know you're you're gonna do for your clients in their ads. So it's important to know you know what offer speaks to your clients' clients. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. All right, Isaac, do you want to just play it through? Yeah, I'll just let it play. That voice is so annoying. <laughs> so guys, um, it's 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 like really simple. It's just the offer naming what kind of pain it's good for and then click below. Um, if you want, you can use either stock footage, but the chiropractors really like using their own footage. So it is an extra step, but if you can ask the chiropractor to send you a few different vertical clips, of them adjusting people, uh, that'll work really well. And then you yeah. would literally just go into the TikTok platform and add all the all the text. Yeah. And if they um if your client only has horizontal and they're they're not gonna be able to vertical anytime soon, I've actually ran these horizontal where you just put the uh horizontal video here in the center, put some black space at the top and at the bottom, and then just put the text at the top with the offer. That works super well too. And surprisingly, sometimes it actually outperforms vertical. So um, it's valid to run horizontal on TikTok. You just have to structure it right. Now, what is super important before I get into the actual build out, do not add any text down here at the bottom of the screen. You'll see TikTok adds so much junk here at the bottom that if you add text down there, it just ends up looking like a mess. And a lot of people do that. And it's it's a mistake. Um, so 
Let's do you want to show the do you want to show the spinal decompression ad real quick? Yeah, let's do that as well. So guys, some chiropractors, before you show it, some chiropractors also offer spinal decompression. So a really nice value add would be for you to say, hey, we could run new patient ads and we could also run spinal decompression ads. So this is an this is, and that's what we did for all of the chiros that had both. Um and they really liked that. It was like, hey, you can get me spinal decompression patients. Sweet. They make more money on spinal decompression. It's different than an adjustment. They use this machine. So they really like this. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing, except instead of saying, hey, you're paying $29 or $21 for an adjustment exam, consultation, doctor's re report of findings, they're offering a voucher for a $49 spinal decompression treatment exam and x-rays if medically necessary. So a really interesting takeaway here, guys, is based on what they offer, you could also make different specials for new patients that want to try out the treatment. So if they have this cool treatment that no other chiropractor has, and they're like, hey, can you help me promote it? All you have to do is get vertical videos of them showing it or maybe talking about it, and then create a special discount for new patients that want to come in and try that service. So we're showing you guys both spinal decompression and new patient special, but you could also do it for any other treatment really. All right. Yeah. And the, um, it's kind of a sales hack to tell when, when you have prospects that get on the phone and they, they say they have a decompression machine and you tell them you can help them get a ton more patients for it. Cause number one, not a lot of other chiro agencies lead with that. Number two, they pay a ton of money for these machines and they want to book them out. Like most chiros have a decompression machine and they're not booking out patients for it. So if you can help them do that, it helps them justify their massive investment because some of these things cost like the price of a small car. So this is the this is the other type of ad you can run where it's just the chiropractor talking instead of just showing the adjustment videos with a robo voice in the background. These work really well too, but your chiro has to be good on camera. If you guys not good on camera, don't do this one because he's just gonna look awkward and yeah, fizzle. you'll know who sucks <laughs> on camera. <laughs> yeah, it's you'll painfully know. obvious, unfortunately. Um, so. Let's go into a build out. I don't think anybody's ever built out local lead gen TikTok on video before and post it on YouTube. So um, let's do a full build out and you guys can see exactly how it's done. So let's go ahead. And first, you're going to hit create. Then you are going to, Jesus, <laughs> you're going to hit lead generation. Let's name this Cairo. So campaign budget, leave all these alone. I don't like to use campaign budget optimization. You don't need any special ad categories. Okay, there we go. Um, placements, just TikTok. I allow all user comment and video sharing. It does apparently affect the algorithm. So out of paranoia, just leave it alone. Don't touch it. Um, automatic creative optimization, leave that off. You do not want that. It, it hurts results a lot of times. Um, location. Now, there are three ways to target right now on TikTok. Um, they do not have zip code targeting yet. Maybe if you're watching this video in the future, they're going to have it and perfect. You can just do zip codes. There are three types of targeting, county, DMA zone, and uh, city. So you kind of have to figure out which of those works for whatever area your Cairo is in. Um, one of them might be too broad. DMA zones tend to be broad. Counties tend to be pretty narrow. Let's do Columbus, Ohio. So we have a Columbus, Ohio DMA. We'll just use that. And again, you can go to Google Images and look at... Um, they should be the, releasing zip code targeting within the next 
year, it seems like, because they've already started yeah. rolling out, rolling it out to very high level access TikTok ad media buyers. So they're working on it. Once that happens, just for reference, guys, we recommend targeting anywhere between, uh, I just say like around a five mile radius. So like once you do have zip code targeting, I'd grab a five mile radius and target all those zip codes. The good thing about TikTok is the leads come in so cheap that even if like a DMA zone for Columbus is a little bit big and you get a couple leads out of area, it doesn't really matter. The vast majority of the leads can drive. Ooh, and by the way, if you do get leads out of area, here's a great hack. Take those leads, find a chiropractor in that area, and be like, hey, I'll, I literally can send you the patients right now. And you could either cold call or cold email, and you could literally send them the leads right then and there. Be like, hey, call them. They literally signed up and they want to see a chiropractor. So that's just a quick little hack. If you have leads in the wrong area, you can then use that as a tactic to get your foot in the door with another chiropractor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, languages, English, make sure you select English here. Don't just leave it open. Um, interesting behaviors. We're going to leave it completely open. Are you targeting all ages, Isaac? Yeah, you can exclude the 18 to 24 if you want. It just depends on the feedback you get from the Cairo. Did, do you usually target 18 to 24 for Kairos? It depends. Like if I was in like a university like area, they wanted to target the younger crowd because their parents could pay for it. Yeah. Things like that. Uh, some Cairo sp specified only a certain age and up. That's more up to the chiropractor, like you said, but it's something to keep in mind. Yeah. I would just ask your client. So, some Kairos prefer older patients. Some prefer younger. Um, daily budget. Most accounts have a daily budget minimum of 20 on TikTok. Let's see if. Yeah. You got to do 20 or $9 billion. $9 million? Yeah. $9 million. Yeah, it's probably going to be cheaper in the future, though. Probably just yeah. going to do the same as Facebook. Did yeah, but also, guys, another hack for client results. The more ad spend you can get, the easier it is to get clients' results. So, like, yeah. everyone thinks everyone loves to get an ROI with, like, $500 in ad spend, but it's interestingly easier to get them an ROI if they're spending $1,500 a month in ad spend. Because you have way more at bats, so yeah. even though it's more money all in, it's actually easier to get them an ROI with more ad spend. So what I like to say is, look, we've got a good option, a better option, and the best option. Good would be twenty dollars a day. Better would be thirty-five dollars a day. Best would be fifty dollars a day, and then let them pick. All of all of my best performing Cairo clients were at forty dollars a day, like pretty much without exception. Um, the more leads they get, the more they're going to close. Um, Okay, so last step, uh, don't use cost cap. Use lowest cost. Cost cap is only for scaling, which you don't really do with local Cairo ads, so just ignore it. To next. So let's change this. We'll change it to Joel Kaplan. Um, don't run ads for your Kairos with my name, by the way, yeah, guys. So if you're watching do this, like... So let's... Don't, don't um, run ads from a Joel Kaplan page. <laughs> so select your ad here. You have to upload it. I, I upload it before this. For text, I just do a click. But what's cool with TikTok is that um, you can run ads from like any name. Like you can just name the page, right? Exactly. That's what I was yeah. telling them. Don't name it Joel Kaplan. <laughs> yeah, that's not part of the instruction, guys, to name it Joel Kaplan. Like that's not, you don't have to do that part. Yeah. Um, uh, call to action, standard, learn more. And this stuff doesn't really matter. It's just the settings uh, to use. Um, and obviously we just, we uploaded the, vi it takes a while to upload a video. So we had the sample pre-uploaded, but obviously you're going to have to edit and upload your own unique video for each client. As yeah. a heads up. For instant form, just hit create. This is really basic. It's just like Facebook's, um, Facebook's lead form. If it loads, I choose classic form. You can mess around with advanced form. Um, I prefer classic on both platforms. What's the difference? Advanced has like more questions, more features. It's like more steps for them to go through. Okay. 
what we noticed with Chiro, really any B2C like local businesses, it's better to just get name, email, and phone number and get them into high level and start texting them and calling them. Yeah. As opposed to having this, like me and Isaac tr- tested running ads to a survey for chiropractors and having them fill out a whole application and it didn't make a difference. Like honestly, yeah. the clients that perform the best had more volume. It was more quantity, less quantity. It's really or, or more. Uh, it was more quantity, less quality. Like it's really, really hard to filter out good versus bad quality on a local level, you know? So it's just better to talk to as many people as possible. Yeah. And it's cool because on high level right now, there's they rolled out a new integration where it's, you know, you can connect leads coming in from TikTok directly into high level. That's really awesome. I really wanted to try that out, but yeah. We only do Facebook ads for now. Oh, nice. I actually didn't even know that. I um, I use Zapier for like everything, but that's really cool. Yeah. High levels on top of their stuff. Um, Isaac, on the thing, on the URL, I know some Kairos liked when we set up like a an appointment scheduler for them. Some Kairos liked when we just did an additional survey for them to fill out. What would you recommend these guys? Um, for most of our Kairos, we did a calendar. Uh, it's, I think it's like the highest intent. Um, you can do a, you can do a calendar that asks multiple questions. So like, if you want to, if the Cairo wants to know more about the patient, you can ask on the calendar, like, you know, where's the pain located? Um, what have you done to fix the pain? You can ask those more detailed questions. You, you can run to a survey first, but for pretty much all of our clients, we, we ran, uh, to a calendar for the thank you page here. Um, I'll quickly go through the settings, English, more volume for the form type, nix the introduction, you don't need it, uh, name, email, phone number in that order, enter your information below to reserve your voucher as the purpose statement, uh, privacy policy, just put your privacy policy there, uh, and then, yeah, link them to the... Uh... Yeah, so you want to create like a account lead uh, for them if they okay. don't have one and that way people can just schedule an appointment in advance you still have to have the chiropractor call them you still need to text them because they're going to have to call to either confirm the appointment or to take payment for the voucher ahead of time so um and by the way we're going to give you guys those scripts that the clients can use to call to confirm the appointment and take payment uh but if they want they can also schedule so complete this so now our lead form is built um what we're going to do next if you have multiple ads for the client most people get confused at this part um if you want to make multiple ads underneath the ad set you said duplicate here so you hit duplicate here now you have two ads within the ad set and on the duplicate you can just change the video so let's say i have a um Spinal decompression. Yeah, spinal decompression. And then I have an adjustment video. You, you can add both. I think I selected the same video, but you guys get the point. Um, but yeah, make the ad first. That way everything copies over, including the form. That way you don't have to like re-put in the form and all that stuff. So it's important. Make the ad first, then duplicate it. Um, let's hit submit. Let's turn it off. So we're not spending money on Cairo ads. And okay. This ad set is called open. What we just built was open targeting. There's two so more no ad interest. sets. No interest. There's two more ad sets. I'm going to build out quickly so you guys can see it. So we're going to hit copy on this. Hit copy on this. And what we're going to do is we are going to copy it twice. We're going to hit copy. We're going to view and edit. And we're going to name one low intent and one high intent and i'll show you guys what that means here shortly so leave everything the same scroll down and what you're going to do is you're going to select out of these first three categories you're going to check all of the interest boxes so you're going to go through here and select everything 
um, you, you select the ones on the most left and it'll automatically select everything underneath it um, when it expands. So just select all of these. I'm not going to do every single one, but just pretend I did every single one. Uh, so go through each of these first three categories and select three or four. There's three. Oh, the no, last, saying, ca the last we're category selecting all of them. Yeah, select all of them. Um, then what you're going to go through for this first one, you're going to do select watch till the end, shared seven days. This next one, you're going to select followed. So you go through, you select all the interest in the first three categories. Then you go through and you modify those settings. Leave target expansion off always. Uh, everything else is the same. So we're going to have. Why did we do this, Isaac? You want to explain um, that? Yeah, that's a very me... interesting um, way of testing. I never came across yeah. something like it. I will give a. Let me publish these. And, and show the modification to the other one. And then I'm going to give a full explanation as to why we. And by uh, the way, just to reiterate, you are going to check off all the boxes in all, all three categories. Isaac just doesn't. For the sake of time, he didn't check yeah. off every single box. I don't want to make you guys watch me check off all the boxes. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like so the most valuable YouTube it. video. But then like if people don't want to watch you clicking boxes. It's a fine like, line. It's like um, a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> so we just published high intent and we just published low intent. What I did is I just right now I hit edit on the low intent. What you're going to do, you're going to come in and there's three settings. You're going to change two settings. Instead of watch till the end shared in seven days, you're going to change it. So let's unselect these. You're going to change it to liked, commented 15 days. And then you're going to change it to viewed profile instead of followed. So you leave all the boxes checked, same thing as the opposite. other one. Yeah, but you're you're selecting the opposite yeah. engagement patterns okay. uh, for the user on TikTok. So let me hit save, and you're done. The, the, this for pretty much every niche on TikTok, local to B two B even. This is a really good first setup. Now, if you have more budget, you can test hashtags. Uh, you can also test purchase intent within the first category here. Let me pull it up. Not all accounts have this, by the way. But guys, I do want to sure. state something real quick. The 80-20 of this, as Thomas has stated in his other videos, is the offer. Okay? Yeah. If you can convince the chiropractor, for example to do a free adjustment, which I, have, I haven't been able to convince a chiropractor to, do, to do, give away a free adjustment. But guess what? Remember what we talked about at the beginning? It's not about copying and pasting. It's about figuring out how to be better. If you can find a way to convince a chiropractor to do free adjustments, I guarantee you they are going to get an absurd amount of leads. Dollar leads, probably. Like, like yeah. absurd. That is the 80 20. If you want to improve the client results, you need a better offer. Number one, number two, the creative. Like, if you can come up with really interesting creatives, if you can find a way to beat our videos, that's going to make a big difference. Um, I think that'll that's probably the 80 20. Yeah, launch these at midnight, guys. You that's you just being paranoid, Isaac. <laughs> no, 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 listen. <laughs> So it's going to, it's going to save your Cairo money because, you know, you have to blast through $60 on the first day and some of them might oh, yeah, not I'm have that kidding. budget. So if you launch these at midnight and they run for the full day, pretty much hundred percent of the time, you're going to find the performers that first day, which means for $60, you pay, you throw $60 at TikTok and it's going to find you one or two of these that just crush it. Um, and then you just turn the third one or whichever one doesn't perform off. Okay. Now, here's what here's why I set it up like this. TikTok has the best algorithm of any platform. By far the best. After one or two conversions, it knows who you want and it can go after them. You can run some very very narrow ads to a very narrow audience, meaning like who you want to get sign up through the ads is a very narrow segment of people. And you can run it open targeting and TikTok will find those people. TikTok does very poorly with small audiences. So a lot of people, they'll go in here 
and they'll they'll go down to the interest where we selected all the interest and they'll just select the interest that makes sense so they'll select like oh chiropractic or medical and and stuff like that and pretty much every account that i see that uh people bring me that sucks that's what they're doing <laughs> um on tiktok so what what you're doing you could technically just duplicate this open three times, but by by selecting all of the interest and then selecting the different user behavior patterns, you're at least giving it some variation to where you know it's going to find a different segment of users um, than just completely open targeting. But it's you're also not going too narrow. The only way you guys can mess this up is if you go too narrow with your targeting, especially at a local level. Um, so the, the idea with TikTok is give it big audiences, give it good creatives, and let the algorithm find the right people for the for a good price. That's basically TikTok in a nutshell. Um let me think if there's anything else. Launch them at midnight. That's TikTok. It's gonna it, this is gonna work, guys. Like I thought you launch this for Cairo, it's gonna work. But no. What's up? That makes sense now. I thought you were being paranoid though. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it, it, here, here's how to launch them at midnight in case in case if uh you guys don't want to stay up till midnight. You select them all. You hit create automated rule. You hit um, total cost of each object. Time range. Lifetime is less than one action. Turn on. So I'll hold this here so you guys can see it for a second. Um, run at specific times. Time of... Uh, no. Uh, run daily. You can just choose 1 a.m. And yeah, then hit complete. Love it. And then hit confirm. I'm not going to hit confirm. Um, that'll turn on at midnight uh, so that you can use the budget most appropriately on TikTok. Um, that's that's literally it for the build out. Um, Do you want to pull up high level? What's up? Do we want to go over a high level next or what do we want to cover? Yeah, well, sure, Thomas, I, think... I don't know if we I don't know if we have time for Facebook and Instagram. What do you think? No, the, yeah, let's go straight into high level. Yeah, let's do you wanna do, do you wanna at least show like a in a, the example image in the Google Drive folder? Yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, guys, we're gonna give you guys this Google Drive folder with all the assets. So like literally look at that. It has literally everything in there that you're gonna need. Yeah to get clients results. I'm going to go through what it all entails in just a sec, but um, yeah. Do you want to pull up just this, the images? Yeah, guys. So these are some proven Cairo ads. Cairo ads on Facebook are nothing complicated. Um, th these are static image ads. And again, you can just run these as lead forms. Like Joel was saying for local medical stuff, lead forms is the way to go. You can run landers. We test it. You can run surveys. It doesn't really change the intent. It doesn't really change the quality. Um, here's another one. This is for a decompression, decompression machine. You can see um, it's the same concept. It's just yeah. instead of the voice saying these things on the video, it's just written out in the copy. Yeah. You and, could and also take you could also take the videos that you're running on TikTok and run them as like story ads. You can do Facebook and Instagram ads just the same way we just did on TikTok. But instead of it being a feed ad, all it is is a story ad. You yeah, know? yeah, and and yeah, those those creatives that were running on TikTok work really good on uh, Facebook as well. Do you want to explain so the can... targeting very very quickly, at least from a high, without going into it? Or yes, so the targeting for Facebook is all open. And again, again, maybe we can do a future video on a build out for this. The the target on Facebook is all open. You don't need to use any interest whatsoever, ever. Um, you do the way to add placements, up, though. What's up? You know, I I don't know if when you were running your car ads, I didn't do automatic placements. I added I edited placements. Yeah, I, I just did. I just did news feeds, Facebook and Instagram news yeah. feed. Yeah, and then if you're doing again, if you want that to be a story ad, you could also pick that. But yeah, um, the targeting. So Facebook has, Facebook has uh, what's called. Let me pull this up. 
it has what's called re- people living in this location versus people living in or recently in this location. What you want to do is you want to do men five miles, people living in this location, and then do men five miles people living or recently in this location, then do the same thing for go men. Se- What's Sorry, up? go for it. No, no, I didn't mean right. to cut you off. Then do the same thing for men seven miles. So you, you're going to do men seven miles living in, men seven miles living in or recently in location. Then you want to do the same thing for women. So you have a total of eight ad sets of these kind of segmented out groups where it's men five mile everyone, men five mile living in, men seven mile everyone men seven mile living in and then just duplicate all the ad sets and make them for women it's it's called the eight ad set method and some of those segments will drastically outperform the others and that's how you get really high performing local and then you just turn off the you turn off the losers i got to the point where i was very confident with my Cairo ads so i only started with one gender and then what would happen is as soon as that gender burnt out and got fatigued, I would just switch it to males. I would run that for like a month or two. Then I would let that fatigue. Then I would switch back to females. And it allowed me to really extend the life the life cycle of the ads. So that's pretty much the targeting, guys. Lead and by forms, the way, what's, what's the uh, ad fatigue on TikTok ads? Is it the same as on Facebook? Um, t- TikTok's weird. Some ads on TikTok last super long. Like they just do not fatigue. Other ones fatigue a little bit faster. I'd say on average, it lasts longer than Facebook ads though. Mm, Um, Okay. The way that we have dealt with ad fatigue on TikTok is new offers. So for example, switching from new patient special to a spinal decompression offer, asking the chiropractor what kind of treatments they run, trying to do different offers. The other thing is new creatives. Yeah. New, New creatives. And if your client doesn't want to film a lot, you can just grab stock footage. You have to keep in mind where's the right now. There's way more impressions on TikTok than there are on Facebook. So like, there's just more people, more eyeballs. It fatigues. There's less frequency because there's so many people that it's being shown to. So it fatigues more slowly. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. That's Facebook. Maybe we do a future video where we do like a full build out, but that's Facebook in a nutshell. Um. Do you guys want to go into high level? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. So the these two sequences um, we put in the Google Drive as well. It's a Cairo high level snapshot. Uh, we have a reminder campaign here. So whenever someone schedules, just hook a trigger up to uh, fire the uh, reminder campaign. Um, it's fairly aggressive. It's not anything too crazy, uh, but... I recommend having it more on the aggressive side to start. If you get clients complaining about it, you can make it a little bit less aggressive. Um, We also have a proven lead nurturing sequence in here. Uh, This works really well, gets really high response rates. Um, So just hook this up to whatever you're generating leads on, whether that's TikTok or Facebook. And the sequence works really well to get people responding uh, to the client. Can I I say something real quick, Isaac? Guys, One of the biggest hacks to me being able to get, and for Isaac too, getting really good results for our chiropractors is that all of our nurturing sequences, the goal was only to get the patient to respond and then we would call them. You have to call the leads. You have to pick up the phone. You're dealing with people. So all of our sequences are geared towards not they're not geared towards automating the whole process and you never have to lift a finger the mar- the the marketers that can get resp- conversations started with leads and then pick up the phone and call them and speak with them are always going to beat the marketer that wants to automate everything yeah. so our goal with these sequences is just to get the car- the patient to respond and then if you have a team of callers, that'll be the trigger for them to call them. If your chiropractor is calling them, as soon as you get a response, boom, they can now call. So that's really 
the idea behind our nurturing sequences. I know there's some people that are trying to do these like super complicated, getting them to schedule fully automated. For us, what we noticed was, and by the way, guys, I just like to follow the success process. I want to do what makes my clients succeed. If that means that they have to call, then that's what that means. They have to call. So we noticed that after working with so many chiropractors, the ones that succeeded were the ones who called. So your nurturing sequence, the goal of it should be to make it as easy as possible for a conversation to be started. So then a phone call can happen. Yeah. Um, also, can you open up the lead nurturing? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, uh, wait. The, the nurturing, the, yeah. And it, yeah, guys, on that note, like you can build out automations to hammer people and get them to schedule, but all you're going to get is low show rates for the Cairo. <laughs> you're going to get a book yes. out calendar with low show rates. Because we're going to go over one of the secrets to how we were able to increase show rate like crazy in just a second. And it requires yeah. you to speak to them on the phone. So yeah. can you scroll all the way down? <clears throat> so you see the last one out of respect to you and your time. This is the last text I'll send. I just want to make sure that if you still want to sign up for the chiropractic adjustment and exam that you don't miss out, give me a quick yes if you're interested. Again, I'm just trying to get them to respond. If you want to keep going and texting them forever, take out this last one. And then all you want to do is keep asking them questions. So we noticed that after like six texts, the clients were like, yo, you're bothering these people. So we just, we thought six was like enough to get a response, but like, we also had some clients that were cool with us texting them for a year, like with uh, cool with us texting the, the leads for a whole year. So if you want, you can get rid of text number six and just keep asking questions. Again, your goal is just to get a response. So it could literally be anything as simple as like, Hey, just following up. Are you still having pain that you want to seek treatment for question mark? Hey, first name, just wanted to check in. I know you signed up last month for the voucher. Is that something that you that you might be interested in checking out? So you could just keep asking them questions. Yeah. All right, Isaac, can you pull up the folder real quick? Yeah. And yeah, okay, guys, so the, the whole the whole idea there is just a bait for response. The more responses you get, the more conversations can be had. So as soon as you get a response, and also you should still call them immediately within five minutes, but regardless, what you want to do is use, can you pull up the pay ahead scheduling script? Yes. Guys, one of the secrets behind our success was we had something called the patients that prepay and show up system. We taught our clients to collect payment for the voucher for that special, the $21 before the appointment. And if you're successful, if you are able to successfully collect payment, it increases the likelihood of them actually showing up by a long shot. So here's the script. I'm not going to go through it right now, like word for word, but just scroll down. It literally has the entire script. Go down, go down, go down. I want to like go all the way to, uh, the objection handling, go down. So I like, I literally go over the objections. I didn't know I had to pay for this. Why can't I pay in person? If I have to pay, I'm still not sure if I want to do this. So I literally break down everything. Can you get out of there real quick? Yeah. I also give you guys my no payment scheduling script. I do not recommend using this, but if a client is extremely aggressive about not collecting payment, this one is so basic because not you just have to schedule them. There's nothing to it. You're not trying to collect an actual credit card. By the way, it's more important for you to psychologically get them to pay you than for them to actually pay you. So like, for example, I know Thomas has callers for his clients to book the appointment for his med spas. You could just say, hey, well, we're ready for the card number and like write it down and not actually charge them. It's more the psychological. Yeah, shift. getting that commitment from them. Correct. It, like, yeah. Dude, whether you charge them, that's like a nice bonus, but like you don't even have to. Yeah. Um, and have you found because 
like with your agency, you didn't have a team of callers. Like you taught this to your chiropractors, uh, your chiropractor clients. Like, did you find it was easy for them to like actually get them to call their leads? Like, how was that process? And like, go through the script, et cetera. Great question. I don't know why the launch call presentation is not on there, but I don't know if you guys want to let me share my screen or if you, can you refresh the, uh, can you yeah. refresh that Google Drive? Oh, you see the launch call presentation? It says, welcome to the Alice Digital family. Oh yeah, there we go. So like I really set a strong expectation of what it, here, scroll all the way down. You want to share your screen? So it's just. Yeah, here, let me share my screen. Yeah, it'd be easier. Here, and I'm, I'm actually going to show you guys this one. This one might be even better. I'm going to give you guys this one as well because I told Thomas I'd hook you guys up. This is going to be a long YouTube video. Thomas, is that cool? <laughs> oh, oh you're muted. muted. You're still muted, but it's it's okay. All right. This is uh, yeah. Sorry, I was saying we we had five minutes left on this call. Four four minutes thirty. We're gonna have to get another Zoom link. Okay. Do one last round, part three. But let's get let's through go. as much as we can. Um, I'm gonna give this to you guys. This is what I call the training wheels version of my launch call, because it literally says everything word for word, like a script. Like you can literally read this, but. If you if you guys take the time to read this, you'll see how strong of an expectation I set with my clients. And I pretty much tell them, if you don't call your leads, you're going to fail. So I made it extreme. I was extremely aggressive about getting my clients to call the leads. And I told them that if they don't, they don't qualify for our guarantees. They don't qualify. We have, For mm -hmm. example, we have a guarantee, which was 10 prepaid patients in 30 days. Well, it was really 20 and 60 days, but that boils down to 10 and 30. But we told them, if you didn't use our script and record your calls and call within five minutes, as long as it's during business hours and follow up at least five times, you don't qualify for the guarantee. So I put that responsibility on the, on the staff. You could also solve that problem for the client and do it yourself. But like, if you guys see this, like I set some really hard expectations. Like for example, I, I, I broke down, like here's what an online advertising patient looks like. Here's what a referral patient looks like. Like I really show them every single, I set expectations, you know, all, all these chiros are like, oh, the leads are broke. So I, I told them the iPhone test. I'm like, when people walk in, try to look to see if they have an iPhone. If they have an iPhone, they would have spent $1,500 on that iPhone. If they can invest $1,449 in a new iPhone, they can definitely invest $1,500 into a long-term care plan, which is much more important. So we must educate them on shifting what they value and prioritize and warm them up so they invest into their health. So like, I'm really setting expectations like I talked about at the beginning so that it's not just about the results. It's also about teaching your clients, setting good expectations. And uh, I'll, I'll give this to you guys so you could read it step by step. I don't actually recommend going through it with your client and reading it because you're going to be like, you're just reading a presentation. This is what I call the training wheels. It's how we trained our account managers. So they would say every word, but then when they were with the client, there's a smaller boil down version of this so can you oh wait i have the google drive one sec we're almost done guys almost at the end so <clears throat> i'm gonna add that in here let me show you guys like two more quick things you're also going to get my database reactivation campaign you guys can plug this in right into go high level so if a client has a database of previous patients, one of the easiest ways to get them a quick win the very first month before you even start running ads is to run this reactivation campaign. So this is what we did. 
Isaac, were you going to say something? Yeah. Doing this starts you off on such a good foot with clients. Cause like when you bring someone on, they, they spent, give you a couple thousand dollars for a retainer and you haven't gotten them anything. There's that tension there. When you do a reactivation campaign for them, it gets rid of that tension. It's like, Oh, they, they already got me results and then we haven't even run ads yet. So it's fantastic to run. Yeah. So exactly. just to explain what this is, like you take their list of old clients from their scheduler um, or from their website or whatever their database they have. And you basically send out one SMS with an offer to get them to come back again for another adjustment or whatever it is in the case of chiropractors. Yep. And then it's like uh, day one, day two. So you, you send a few texts, you send four days worth of texts. All right, so the next thing I want to hook you guys up with, one of our other secret sauces of getting clients really solid results was running a Google review campaign. So people want two things. They want more money and they want an increase in status. So for example, I'm sure you guys have heard of people paying like 25 grand for a blue tick verification on Instagram. That might not actually get them any results, but it's all about status. And one of the easiest ways to help your clients feel good and boost their ego is to get them a crap ton of reviews. So I'm going to give you guys my Google review uh, campaign. You can literally plug this in. Do not, do not tweak it. It is perfect. Same with the other database reactivation campaign. So remember I told you guys, to not be a copy and paste entrepreneur. You could be a copy and paste entrepreneur for this. <laughs> this is an exce the exception and this one is the exception. This is literally proven. By the way, for anyone watching this, these will work in other niches as well. So like this would work in any niche where you could do a special discount offer. The Google review, this one, I've actually ran it for chiropractors, dentists, Realtors, plumbers, HVAC companies, like literally every, water damage companies. Like if your house gets flooded, like literally I've ran it for all kinds of companies. So you guys can take this. And anyone watching this that isn't going to start a Cairo agency, one of my easiest, one of my favorite ways to get my foot in the door is to say, hey, let me send you some free Google reviews or let me send you some free clients first before you pay me. You guys can run this campaign or run this reactivation campaign. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to literally plug this into high level. Thomas has a ton of videos on it in his 300 agencies program. I know that they can help you with actually plugging this. Yeah, in, I, have, but I have tutorials on exactly this, but not, not the way you format it. Like for I do it for my clients, like kind of different, but I like this one where um, everyone that leaves us a, Google, a review, um, yeah, <laughs> get entered to win a one hundred fifty dollar gift card to Amazon. I think that's that's really good. Yeah, it's uh, this is proven work. I literally have it done with science. Um, I forgot the because uh... with us we had it where like they would if they would leave a review, um, they could get a discount. So they would get like a rebooking for the client. They would get the review as well. Um, but I mean, this one works. There's, there's a, the psychology behind this one. There's a few things. Number one, um, you're asking for help. You're like, hey, we're doing something amazing. Would love your help. So people want to help out. Number one. Number two, they have an incentive to win. People like fun things. Number three, we put it to 24 hours, but it's really like a whole week campaign because we say, oops, the email didn't go through and all this stuff, even though it did, just to extend it out. Um, I forgot to add the subject lines. The first day, it's we've never done uh we've never done anything like this. Dot dot dot. Day two is R E colon. We've never done anything like this. Dot dot dot. Day three, the subject line is uh oh. Day four, the subject line is wow. And then you actually give the the winner. Um, Google doesn't like competitions for reviews. I've ran this over a hundred times. I've never had an issue. It's technically gray area. Like technically you're not allowed to do giveaways, but I've never had an issue. So screw it. Like it's worked for me every single time. 
worst case, they just take down the reviews. Like that's and that's it. If they're like, these aren't legit, but they're all from the people that have been there in the town. So you're going to be good. All right, let's keep going. And then obviously the car, the, the chiropractor would pay for the, the gift card, not you. All right, let me give you guys some other goodies. If you guys, if you're, if you guys are calling or if your clients are calling, we also give them these voicemail scripts. So we give you guys the calling script. We also give you guys these voicemail scripts. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I also wanted to give you guys my, and this is like a whole different masterclass. Maybe we could come back and, and do a, a video on this, but I wanted to still give it to you guys. There's an intro call script for warm leads and for cold leads. So this is like, if you're actually trying to close a chiropractor, I wanted to give you guys like the sales script to close a chiropractor. This isn't for cold calling though. This is like if they've replied to a cold email or this is if they've come in through your ads and actually scheduled a call, like this is what the first call should be like. And then here's my demo presentation. So actually, I when we closed chiropractors, we took them through this demo presentation to uh, get them to pay. So I just wanted to hook you guys up as a bonus. I know this doesn't have to do with like the actual build out of like client results, but I wanted to give you guys my demo presentation and my intro call scripts for both cold and warm leads. I think that's pretty yeah, much this it. This is worth a lot of money. I think all of this it's crazy. Yeah, we really wanted to like I I told you Thomas, my goal was to be your number one most valuable guest on your channel ever. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's going to be a goal achieved. So I think that's it. I don't know if we have Isaac anything else. <laughs> I can build more. <laughs> Let me screen share. I'll build more. <laughs> no, but that, that's it for me today. All right, I guess cool. with, should I say one last thing about chiropractors? Sure. You guys just, they're, they're interesting people. You guys are going to have to like learn the niche, you know, like yeah. all, the, the only reason I know how to set expectations with them is because I spoke with hundreds of chiropractors in my life. So commit to your niche for long enough to actually see the results.